yet when it comes the MEA will go to the Supreme right, Court right. is what we hear. Right. Now, Shinjo just going across to Mega on this one. Now, here's the move from the External Affairs Ministry. You said the Enforcement Directorate is willing to go to whatever lengths to bring Lalit Modi back and hold him accountable. So, how soon will we see the MEA, uh, ED, Enforcement Directorate, make a formal appeal to the External Affairs Ministry? Ten months it's not done it. Four days after we put out the story, they have, they have woken up. Now, how soon before the Enforcement Directorate Makes a, uh, makes a move and makes the formal appeal to the NEA, Megha. Well, Anand, we do not have any specific answer to that because we haven't got any from uh, our sources in the Enforcement Directorate. All that we can say is that we believe it will happen any time soon. But there is no time, time limit that they have put on to this one. There is nothing in terms of a clear answer from the Enforcement Directorate as to how soon this will happen. But one can only assume, you know, after, after the news we broke and it has snowballed into a huge, huge controversy and an embarrassment for the government, perhaps the Enforcement Directorate at the highest level will be taking this call soon enough to approach the MEA asking them to go approach the court against the restoration of this passport because if the passport is not restored and Lalit Modi is now free to travel anywhere in the world because currently he is holding an Indian passport, it is going to be very difficult to get him back. Get, to get him back, of course, first thing, first step that you need to do is to revoke his passport and then bring pressure upon uh, the UK government that has uh, legalized his stay in UK. They have given him this a court order that formalizes his stay in the UK. So there has to be a lot of work in terms of trying to get him back because he doesn't seem to be in the mood of coming back but no, but uh, more important the, is the law here of being a the part intent? of the investigation. Was there, These was investigations, there, was, was Anand, the intent been... lost over the last 10 months and suddenly have they woken up to find that intent again? And is it because we here at Times Now have put out these questions and we've asked straightforward questions, not just of the External Affairs Minister but also of the Government of India across its departments about how serious they are to bring back a man who they continue to maintain is, uh, is being pursued. That they have 16 cases of economic offences against this man. And the fact today you say they have revised the figure that Lalit Modi himself is, uh, is guilty to the tune. They, they hold him accountable to the tune of more than 2,000 crore of FEMA violations. Now, Shinjoy, I am going to ask you this. The External Affairs Minister did not keep the ministry in, in the loop when she batted for Lalit Modi. What has prompted this move? Does this have the blessings of the External Affairs Minister or is it the Ministry that's woken up to control the damage? Well, very clearly, the government has realized that Lalit Modi is the person who has to be dealt with. And now, every effort will probably be made to ensure that Lalit Modi actually...